Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to mark congruent triangles. We're going to mark corresponding sides angles um, based on the congruency statement. And then we'll go ahead and mark the triangle using that information. All right. So instructions are for us to name the corresponding congruent parts of the given triangle pairs, then mark the triangles accordingly. So for question number one, Let's say we have the statement, the congruency statement, that's triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AFG. So what we're going to do first is we're going to state the corresponding congruent sides and angles. So we'll start with the corresponding uh, congruent sides. And then we'll do the angles after that. Okay. All right. So in order to help us to do this accurately, we're going to uh, create a guide. All right. So sometimes the looks can be deceiving. You might think that two angles or sides that look the same are actually congruent, but that might not be the case. So to ensure that we do not fall victim to that, we want to make sure that we follow the directions given by the letters, the order of the vertices. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a guide uh, down here. So we have two triangles. Let's label them. This is triangle one, triangle ABC, and triangle two, triangle AFG. All right, so let's stack them on top of each other. For the first triangle, we have triangle ABC. All right, the order of the letters are extremely important. That's what tells us how to match the corresponding angles and sides. All right, triangle ABC and then triangle AFG. Okay, so let's start by looking at the congruent corresponding sides. So we have the first two letters AF. All right, so these two uh, letters right here, these two connecting vertices, AB uh, and AF, those are corresponding sides. All right, two congruent corresponding sides. So let's write on the statement. We have the situation where AB, segment AB is congruent to segment AF. All right, let's mark it on the triangle. AB, this side right here, is congruent to this side right here, AF. One tick mark each to indicate that they're the same measures. All right, moving along the next pair of congruent sides, just go with the next letters, BC and FG are congruent sides. So we can write it down. Segment BC is congruent to FG. Let's mark it on the triangle. BC, this side right here, two tick marks. And FG, or GF, two tick marks, are congruent sides. And then the last pair of congruent sides are side AC and side AG. Bam. All right, so segment AC is congruent to segment AG. Bam, bam. So AC, mark your three tick marks, and AG are congruent. Okay, let's go ahead and specify the corresponding um, congruent angles, corresponding congruent angles. So in this case, we have uh, to just follow the order of the vertices, okay? So A is match, so A and A, they're the first letters. So that basically tells us that angle A is congruent to angle A. All right, so let's mark it with one arc. Angle A is congruent to angle A. Next, we have um, B and F. All right, so that helps us to see that angle B is congruent to angle F. Let's mark it angle B with two arcs. Angle B is congruent to angle F. And then the last one. Uh, C and G. All right, that shows us that angle C 
is congruent to angle G. Let's mark it. Angle C, 1, 2, 3, is congruent to angle G. 1, 2, 3 arcs. So that's how you mark the congruent triangles and specify the corresponding congruent sides and angles. All right, let's take a look at another example. So question number two. Let's say we have the congruency statement, triangle PQR. All right, so let's say this is triangle PQR is congruent to triangle PHI. So triangle PHI. Okay, so let's go ahead and state the corresponding uh, corresponding sides, congruent sides first. And then we'll look at the corresponding congruent angles. So corresponding congruent sides. Uh, let's create our guide so we don't make any mistakes here. So our guide coming up. We have two triangles, triangles one and two. Okay, so let's stack the, the names on top of each other. So we have triangle PQR, triangle PQR, and triangle PHI. For congruent correspondence sides, uh, PQ corresponds to PH, all right? So the corresponding sides of congruent triangles, they are congruent, so we know that segment PQ is congruent to segment PH. Okay, next pair of congruent sides, QR corresponds to HI. Oh wait, let's mark the first one. So PQ, one tick mark, and then PH, one tick mark. And then the next one is that uh, segment QR is congruent to segment HI. Bam, bam. So QR is congruent to HI. Two tick marks for each. And then the last pair of congruent sides that are corresponding to each other are segment PR and PI. Okay. So let's write down the congruency statement, which is that segment PR is congruent to segment PI. All right, so there goes your pair of corresponding congruent sides. Now we're gonna move on to angles. Let's write down the pair of corresponding congruent angles and it will mark it on the triangles accordingly. Okay, so just follow the order of the vertice vertices here to generate those pair of congruent angles. First one we have angle P and angle P are corresponding angles, so angle P is congruent to angle P. All right, let's mark it one arc on both triangles. Next, next we have angle Q and H. So angle Q is congruent to angle H, two corresponding congruent angles. Let's mark it, angle Q, two arcs, and angle H. And then lastly, we have, what do we have? We have R and I. So that tells us that angle R is congruent to angle I. Bam, bam. So angle R, three arcs. One, two, three. Is congruent to angle I. One, two, three. Okay? So there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found at mathgoodserve.com or the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.